Hey, what's going on, working class hustlers? It's your main man, La Machine, here once again at Ollie's. You guys know this is one of my favorite places to shop sourcing for products to sell on Amazon. And as you can see, I got a full cart here. Now, usually I, I walk out with about two, sometimes even three carts. But today, I just picked up some books, some cereal. Kind of smashed that. Shouldn't have did that. Got some um, toothpaste, toothbrushes, things like that. So we're going to get these back to the shop. We're going to get them unloaded and then we're going to go over the numbers and see how we did. Stick around. This is going to be interesting. This is what to sell on Amazon. I'm Horace. Let's go. Okay, Hustler, so check it out. I got everything unpacked and on the table. And as you can see, we've got a total of 10 different items and they range from here you can see we got books right then you move over to uh a grocery item right this cereal we've got a uh health and uh beauty item um we've got another grocery another grocery more beauty you can't go wrong with toothpaste guys you just can't do it you talk about some of you guys want your replenishables that's your replenishables and then this is another beauty item oh you know what <laughs> we got 11 i forgot we got some uh we got some some toothbrushes so here's what we're going to do to respect your time i'm going to pick about two maybe three products and we're really going to unpack them we're definitely going to unpack this book and i'll tell you real quick when we get into it why I want to unpack that because a lot of people they like books but they think Ollie's is just too much because you can get books at you know places where you can get them really really cheap especially if you're willing to sell used books you can get them at you know thrift stores and stuff like that but I'm going to tell you for those of you who want to shop do books at Ollie's it can be done and you'll see why I'll pick a couple more products and then for those who really want to dig deep and get into every product where we really break it down you can sign up for um the link is in the description you can sign up for the uh working class hustler insiders and you get the whole thing all right guys so let's let's get at the controls now that you know the products that we got i'm gonna i'm gonna pick this book and maybe two more and we're gonna get into it so hold tight all right hustler so we're gonna go ahead and start breaking this down and really unpacking the items that we're gonna really look into but let me just remind you okay this is very important um if we if we kind of reflect back on the title of this video you gotta understand guys i was only in ollie's about an hour i mean when you get you know when you get some experience you really don't have to spend that much time in there to find about 10 11 good things okay so i want you to reflect on that think about that for yourself if you could make 250 dollars now that's going to vary up and down because prices change and you may end up changing your prices depending on how fast you want to sell but if you could make 215 bucks in like an hour you'd probably do it and you got to remember guys i was being lazy you saw my cart i only had one cart i told you i normally have two or three carts that means i normally make two or three times the number that you're seeing right here guys you got to understand something this amazon business it's really not hard, man. You buy low, you sell high. It's really not that hard. But you're going to have to start to conceptualize this in order to really start to take action and go in and move in the right direction. You make your money when you buy, okay? Not when you sell. The sell, that's a process that's out of your hands. You make the money when you buy. That's why I focus so much on this channel about you learning how to evaluate because once you learn that skill guys you got this okay but let's jump in and the first thing we're gonna look at is the uh aunt jemima syrup now so this is what you're looking at this is the product and you already saw it it's right behind me on the table but what you're looking at is and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because we've got videos that really break down the seven steps to evaluating. But real quick, we're looking for the sales rank. If if you got to keep a chart in front of you, 
Listen, when you see that kind of velocity, you see that green line, that green line right there, that's showing a lot of velocity. That means, you know, that product is selling. If you need the sales rank, you come down to the product details. There it is. And I can tell you 28,000, 29,000 in grocery and gourmet that is moving. Now, I'm just going to click on my, uh, this is an extension for uh, tactical arbitrage, which we teach. We got a whole series. We got lightning courses. This is just, this comes with tactical arbitrage. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. But just to give me an estimated monthly sales. Now, that's just an estimate, guys. Your experience is going to have you buying things that don't necessarily show a high monthly sales because this is just an estimate but do you, i mean you you can think about this yourself because like i said earlier a lot of you guys are looking for replenishables okay do you think people eat syrup on a regular basis okay you could believe that maybe 212 bottles of these are going in a month that's a little bit on the heavier side i know that good good because a lot of people they say ah i don't want to ship nothing that heavy good that means you got a degree of separation the masses are not jumping on this because they don't want to deal with it 64 ounces they don't want to deal with it but see there are tricks and tips to actually lower you know the the cost of freight getting it into the warehouse it just depends on your mixture you look at some of the other stuff I have. Everything I have is not heavy. Everything that I ship is not bulky or heavy. So you can mix and match and bring down the overall cost to get it into the in into the warehouse. You guys, you got to start thinking. And if you got tips, leave leave some comments. Help us out. But if you got a good sales rank, uh, I'm not a big guy on reviews. But if you got a lot of good reviews, that is a plus. That's not a deal breaker for me, but that is a plus if you can get good reviews. Okay, how many people are on the product? Uh, now, this is grocery and gourmet. You may not be approved for that. The same principles apply, okay? I'm only worried about prime. I'm only worried about new. This is the buy box. Look at guys, the buy box is not, is not FBA. Some people think that by being FBA, you control the buy box. Nope. That's not what you're seeing. Okay. But here I'm looking at stock. Okay. That's that's appearing because of the Keepa. Keepa is has a feature that you can set in there that'll allow you to be able to view uh your the other people's stock out there. Okay, these people don't have a whole lot of stock. This guy has a hundred and he might know what he's doing. Look at his ratings, 15,261. He might know what he's doing. He's selling it for $19.99. You might want to follow him before you follow a guy, you know, that that's just launched. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, just something to think about, guys. Now, well, what we're doing is we're going to hop over to my inventory lab where we really break it down in in, in research under scout now if you want to learn this is the software i use you can use the revenue calculator that's free well it comes with your your uh seller account and you could go that way in order to be able to look over and figure out can you make a profit but i'm using inventory lab we got videos on that um you know link is in the description if you want to try that but this is what i use and i definitely recommend it but Here's my cost per unit. You know, I did take advantage of a 15% uh, coupon because I'm part of Ali's army. Sign up for that. Okay. Um, now, I said I'm going to list it for 15 bucks. Actually, no. No, I don't really want to compete with this guy. I could actually go 1650 like the rest of the gang. And watch what happens. Now I'm making $4.60. That means 
I stuck $2.54 into the machine. The machine spit out that $2.54 uh, and it gave an additional $4.60. That's 181% return on investment. That's the number I like to look at. You might like profit margin, whatever metric you want to use. Okay, let's move on to the next product. Now, Fruit Loops. Normally, guys, I would not sell Fruit Loops, but this is a special one. This is that tropical. This is a weird flavor. When it comes to cereal, you can try and sell, you know, Frosted Flakes. You're not built for that, okay? At some, some point, you may be, but if you're a beginner, this channel focuses mostly on beginners. Listen, when it comes to cereal, try to find those weird flavors, man. I used to kill it with these disgusting sounding cereal it was uh sour patch kid cereal oh it sounded horrible i couldn't keep them in stock i couldn't keep them in stock i had the manager at ollie's on speed dial but i know i can sell these and here's the reason why number one it's a weird flavor number two Come down to the uh, uh, sales rank. Now, that doesn't seem like a good sales rank. That's on the higher side. But I got experience. I know. I'm looking at a keeper chart. It's moving. It's not moving crazy. And I didn't go crazy when I bought them either. Okay. But if we go prime, we go new. I don't know if this guy. Yeah, he is prime. So you don't see a whole lot of stock. Four, one, seven, four, two. And the price is going up. Okay. But let's hop over to Inventory Lab. Listen, I only paid two dollars and twelve cents for a box. If I listed at 917, is that what is? So yeah, 917. I'm going to profit $2.42. That's 114% better than doubling my money. This is what it's all about. At the end of the day, you got a budget. And that budget is spread across different items. But the budget goes out, comes back. If you're averaging 100%, hey, you're doubling your money. You can't beat that. And you're not always going to do that. But, you know what what your average what if you're averaging 40 percent, 50 percent? you're doing pretty good okay let's go back and just look just a little bit more at that okay. look at you got good reviews and again like i said i'm not that's not a deal breaker for me but it is a plus okay Let's click and see what what they're they're telling us. Okay, estimated monthly sales five. You know what? I got room now. I want you to think about something. This is something you got to think about. If you're looking at a one hundred and fourteen percent hundred, I'm sorry, one hundred fifteen percent return on investment, guys. I'm happy with 20, 30, 40 percent. So you know what that means? That means I have room. Now I use a repricer. We'll get into that. Um, and you'll see a link in the description for that. We we just did a video about my, my repricer, which is Aura. But the point is this, I've got room to maneuver. If you want that velocity, if you want that inventory turning so that you get that, that profit out, reinvest it, grow your business. This is one thing you want to, you want to pay attention to and kind of kind of model your business after because if you're like me and you're happy with 20 30 percent return on investment and you're getting 115 you got room to play with that gives me the confidence that gives me the confidence now another thing you could do you could come over to your keeper chart you could hover over this st the statistics you can see look at that blue column that says new what's the average price over the last 90 days so for the last three months this product has been selling at about ten dollars a box almost so i'm confident you see what i'm saying i'm confident that 
if I'm happy making 30, 40 percent and and normally at the price that I paid, I'm going to be able to make 115 percent. I'm confident that if, hey, I just want to go ahead and get that out, get my 30 percent. Get my 40%, 50% and move. You know what I mean? This is this is how you get, how you make your decisions. All right, we got we got one more. Um, and it's a book. And the reason why, um, boy here. This is the book that that, that we're gonna look at. But the reason why I'm gonna tell you book sell. Now I want to give you an example because this book right here, I bought six of these, uh, I guess it was back in August, and I sold uh, all six of them. Now, incidentally, when it comes to books, I like, I like reference guides, manuals, cookbooks, diet books, any how-to stuff is going to sell. Now... I didn't kill it with the with the, with these books. These are again. This is why I like Inventory Lab because it shows you a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, you not you're not gonna get this information out of Amazon uh, Seller Central. They, that's not what what they're about. But five ninety nine is what I paid for the book. I don't pay sales tax because I have a reseller certificate. So that's just a note for Ollie's. Make sure if you have your reseller certificate, you don't have to pay. Just show it at the counter at the register um don't do like i did last time um well just on this haul i forgot my doggone reseller certificate i thought i had in the car i didn't so i ended up paying that sales tax you don't want to do that but uh the net profit you know and that took me from september the 28th i bought them Actually, I think I listed them in the beginning of August. So they sat August and almost all of September. Then I went ahead and stuck them on my repricer to get them going. So what was my profit? It depends. 329, 343, 314. And they started, it started going down. But look at look at my return on investment and think about what I was just talking about. Yeah, 54, round up to 55%. 55%, 57% return on investment, 52%, 45, even when my, at my lowest, that was a 33% return on investment. So you know what I mean? If you need to go ahead and move that product, I didn't want to sit on it any longer. Let my repricer do the work. I make the profit. And I'm telling you guys, 33% is not a bad return on investment. But let's jump over to the product that we're talking about. This is an emergency survival guide. Uh, that's a great type of title that you want to deal with. Now, we're going to come down, look at the Keeper chart. Amazon has the product. Now, you're going you're gonna to notice with me, I do not run uh, from Amazon. For some people, that's a deal breaker. They, you know, they don't like it. They've had bad experience or they, and I think in most cases they've been taught, stay away from them, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, I don't teach that right away. I always jumped right in with Amazon and it has always been my experience that, you know, Amazon has nothing to gain by keeping you from being successful so that you leave their platform. They're making money off of you every which way you turn. OK. But the primary concern is their customer. So you're going to have to be competitive. If you know right out of the gate, you're not going to be able to be competitive. Forget about it. Now, one thing you're going to notice, this is the flex bound, the flex bound one that I have. Be careful. If you go to paperback, it don't even look the same. OK, you saw what mine looks like. But I got the flex bound. I didn't even know what that was because I don't do a whole lot in books. I don't do near as much as I should because, man, I'm telling you, books sell. But again, let's hover over. And, you know, right now. Let's see. So right now, Amazon is at twenty two ninety seven. 
Now you got some people that are new nine sixteen, but that's we're gonna look into that. That's not. I don't think that's FBA. And look at you can see if you look in the Amazon column, that was a minute ago. Um, that that price change is showing. Okay. Now you're looking at they're they're estimating seventeen sales a month. Now if we use our little Chrome extension. They're estimating 15, so you, you can kind of get an idea of, of where you are with that. I want to come down and get the sales rank off of that. Uh, 207,000 in books isn't bad. These are things you're going to learn, guys, over time. But if we come over and we click, we're looking at all the new, but then I'm going to filter down to prime. And let's see, this guy is not FBA. There's Amazon, and then it only goes up from there. So if we go over again, go back into um, Inventory Lab, and if I jump right in with Amazon, it costs me seven thirty-five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna profit. 533, that's a 73% return on investment, guys. I, I don't see a problem with it. I really don't. You can come back. And like I said, you got some good reviews. That's not a deal breaker, but that's definitely a plus. Guys, uh, and I used to spend, I used to spend time poly bagging, shrink wrapping. Listen, I don't even do that anymore. Stick them in a box, just like they are. Slap the label on it, out the gate. And guys, I hope this shows you. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. You know, this Amazon thing really isn't that hard. You get in, you do the evaluation, you buy low, you sell high. It's not that hard, guys. So don't make it hard. Now... There's a lot more that we're going to unpack. We got a lot of stuff behind me that we're going to get into, but that's for those that really want to. I'm not going to spend any more time unless you want it. If you do, sign up for the uh, the uh, uh, Working Class Hustler Insiders. You can get all of that stuff. We're going to unpack everything for those that want that. Okay? The link is in the description to sign up for that. Immediately, you got access to it. Uh, along with all the other ones that we unpacked. Because if you're serious about this, you know, you want to really delve deep into it. But we got to start getting on concepts. Now, we got other things. Guys, if you want to connect with me, text the words Working Class Hustler to the number on your screen. Go through the quick prompts and we can get you going. Uh, we do have coaching. Some of you want coaching. You want to actually have uh be able to work with me one-on-one -on -one. as a matter of fact when i finish this this video i've got to get on with a guy that wants coaching so we can move forward um that is available for you and there's just a host of information that's down in the description all roads lead to tactical arbitrage here that's why we put a mini series we put the lightning skit series but you're gonna notice uh we're talking a lot more about other ways to automate your business. And we're going to be talking a lot about, um, you know, getting your systems together and, and really growing your business. We're going to be having special guests on that can help us reach that. So make sure you subscribe. Give you an example. We did a video last week uh, on Aura. Well, guess what? The next video we're going to be on with the co-founder of Aura. Uh, and this guy is amazing. He's gonna he's gonna not only show you more about, about the software, but he's gonna help you get your concept straight. Okay, when you properly conceptualize, you're gonna move in the right direction. Okay, and this is gonna be good for you, for me, we're all the working class hustlers of America and all over the globe, we're going to improve, and that's what we keep on doing. So do subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, if you need me, you know how to reach me. You, now you got my cell phone number or you can just respond right in the comments and we will get to you. Don't forget to join us 
this coming Saturday, the Working Class Hustler panel is going to be on. That way we can talk to you and deal with any issues, concerns, or things that you want to share. All right. It's a whole group of us that come out for your benefit. So I hope to see you there. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.